Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Dale! What are you doing, Dale? Dale, what are you doing, buddy? Why are you outside your pen? There's nothing in there, Rick. What are you doing? There, that's nothing. This is like old grain, like real old grain. Go eat some grass, buddy. Well, Dale's hanging out with us this morning. Um, we've got a very special video. Lots of stuff going on. Uh, it's gonna consist of pretty much driving all day long uh, and picking up various animals and objects pretty much all day. That's pretty much our plan. Dale, we're letting him graze because he's basically he's basically a dog. Millie and Lucy and Finn, they're all up inside. We left them. We left them at home so they wouldn't harass Dale while he gets some nice luscious grass look at him he's killing the game anyway so today's objective okay we are i'm gonna map this out for you guys so we are going from here my house to the auction now the auction we're not actually staying for the auction we're taking some quail probably like 10 of the mail to the auction we're gonna sell those guys and then while we're at the auction we're going to buy a big bale hay feeder um so we're gonna get that because we need a basically a hay feeder for the big bales to give to the animals so we're gonna get that that's about an hour to the east all right and then we're gonna drive an hour, another hour to the east and we're going to pick up 80 that is eight zero bob white quail they're only like three four days old um found them on facebook so we're gonna get bob white quail you're wondering why would you want 80 bob white quail you already have quail you're selling quail whatever well i have like a caternix or something quail it's like a it's basically a good egg laying and a good meat bird but the bob whites are good hunting birds so a lot of you guys have been saying hey release the quail into your uh, on your property but you don't really want to release caternix because they're just they don't really do all that great bob whites do so we're gonna get 80 of them to raise to then release on my property to then maybe at some point hunt also maybe use them to help train Lucy for hunting, another option. So we're gonna get 80 of those, and then we're gonna drive another hour to the northeast, and we are going to meet up with my buddy David. I met David at the auction. He's gonna give us like 36 quail eggs that are fertile, and these are Caternix or whatever they're called. So then we're gonna put those in the incubator when we get home, so we're gonna try to hatch those. And then while we're in the location that we're in getting the eggs, we're going to pick up two coon coons, or cooney cooney. I don't know how you pronounce it. I've, I've heard both. Coon coon and cooney cooney pigs, and bring them back. That's the, the objective was to get the cooney coonies or the coon coons, whatever you call it. But then I just, just so happened to find 80 quail and some eggs and a bunch of other stuff along the way. So today's pretty much just a road trip across the state of Nebraska, picking up various eggs, birds, and pig, and then selling some things and just kind of just spending, like I said, spending the day driving and acquiring objects and animals. So pigs, oh, they're sleeping still. They're still sleeping, but we're going to, uh, we're going to get them a couple friends. These are cooney coonies or coon coons, or again, whatever you call them, I'll have to look it up so I don't keep, have to say it twice every time in this video, but they're basically like the cutest, fluffiest looking pigs you ever did see they're like they have they have the hair and like they're i don't know how to even describe it it's just it's like the, it's like the pig version of carol you know how carol has like the long hair on like a normal cow these guys have like long hair and their pigs they're freaking sick dale dale's enjoying himself but before we do that we gotta obviously we gotta take care of the animal somebody huh, that's you dale you are the animal i am taking care of you you're getting fed and doing big things for your country how's the uh well that's yep we're gonna call this the toast pond here there's no minnows left what's going on here with these largey put on the old amandos oh they're still down there you guys can't even see them though i even have a polarizer on here it's just so dark and cloudy you can't see others they're sitting down there i mean they might let me see if i can scoop up a little little goldilocks and see if see what they think i don't even know if there's any goldfish in here this tank is gross oh god yeah oh okay we still have some what? fish in here how'd you do that skill i'm a professional goldfish wrangler or something all right nemo you ready to go for a ride oh, oh they're back at it folks they took a couple days off oh god oh god smoke watch that top one come on somebody Somebody hit him. Somebody hit him. Oh, they're chasing one still. Oh, he got eaten. That top one's just lingering. I don't know if you guys can even see that or not, but. Oh, he got eaten. I don't know if you saw it. I think that was a small bass. I think that might've been the first time we've seen a small bass eat. That's a good sign. The bass are back at it. They took a few days off. They wouldn't eat on command. So we didn't feed them for a couple days. It just turns out they were full. And now we'll just continue. I just wanna make sure they're not sick or whatever. So we, we didn't feed them for a couple days just to see how they had react. Obviously they're hungry again. So that's good. Let's go, uh, let's go make sure the pigs aren't dead. Dale, you wanna go hang out with the pigs, Dale? Hey, Dale, this fence is on, Dale. Dale, Dale, you gotta back it up. Dale, you gotta back it up. Dale, you wanna meet the pig? You gotta crawl under this fence, though. You wanna, you wanna crawl under? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. There you go. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go introduce you to the pigs. Come on, pigs. <laughs> Wake up, pigs. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. Come on, pigs. What you guys doing? How are you guys doing on food? Oh yeah, they've been eating quite a bit. I hear them because I can hear them slam it from my house. So I'll just be up there and all of a sudden you hear. I'm like, oh, yeah, the pigs are eating. Dale, you want to clean up some of these weeds for me, Dale? Come on, pigs. You got to meet Dale. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Oh, that's kind of messed up. They don't really think about that. Come on, buddy. Come on, meet Dale. There you go. See, they're getting better at climbing. You can do it. Come on, cheese and rice. Come on. You can do it. Right foot in front of your left. Uh-oh, what's going on here? Beefcake meets beefcake. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? You got mud all over your face from yesterday. I saw you taking a bubble bath. 
What are you doing? They all this is cheese and rice. What do you think about them? You want to clean up some of those weeds? Real talk though. They're kind of uh, they're kind of in the way. They're hey, don't bite me. Don't. Hey, don't bite my knee. Well, they're hanging out. That one's significantly larger than that one. I mean, that's a big, that's a big boy. He ain't messing around. You're a big boy. You're growing fast. Big chungus. All right, you guys do your thing. Come on, Dale. Let's go on to the next adventure. What up, sheep? We got Dale. We brought him back. Dale, you want some grain, Dale? <laughs> Dale's happy. He found the, he found the jackpot. All right, you guys want some grain? There you go. Bon appetit. Llama, what up, Llama Bro? Do you want some grain, buddy? Here you go, Llama. Just for you. You're the only, hey, Rick. See your buddy Dale down here? Hey, you're spilling it. You realize that, right? Hey, hey. No, Dale, do not spill. No, Dale, do not spill the whole grain bin. No, Dale, no. Llama, just for you. Just for you, Llama. Karen, Karen. There you go, Karen. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, he, Dale, 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 Dale. You're gonna, Dale, Dale. Dale, you're gonna flip the whole, Dale, get off it. Get off it. Get off it. No, bad goat. Bad goat, stop it. No, 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 Dale, no. Hey, hey, hey. Dale, you want back in, Dale? Dale, let's go let you back in. Come on, Dale. Come on, buddy. Come on. We're on this way. No, no. Come on. This way. We'll take you back home. Come on. No. Come on. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. You got it. You got it. No. Really? That that specific grass patch. It's a must, huh? I guess we'll wait. All right, you've had enough. Come on, Dale. Hey, we gotta go. Hey, we have to leave, Dale. Dale, Dale, we have to leave. Dale, Dale, we have to leave. Come on, Dale. Dale, don't make me do it, Dale. God oh, damn it, Dale! <laughs> You're heavier than hell, Dale. Dale, I didn't want to have to do this, Dale. Whew. We're good. Morning, turkeys. Look at, who did this? That's probably me, actually. You need to fix that. Hey, 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 no, don't, no. What? You ever see turkeys eat grass like this? You guys act like that's the filet mignon. Turkeys. Is that a mouse? Oh snap! Who who KO'd the mouse? No way you did Stuart Little like that. What? God dang! You guys are ruthless. There. A little feet action. Bony apple feet, son. Who killed the mouse? You guys are vicious. You little velociraptor-looking sons of guns. Look at. They like the grass. Do we have some pasture turkeys? Anyways, these guys are taken care of. Ducks. Your pool's dirty again. Big shocker. Uh, we're gonna separate some quail real quick so we can take ten males to the auction. All right, quail. Hopefully you've had fun, but uh. It's time for you guys to go on to the next home, you know what I mean? Hey, you're all right. Hey. There you go. In the box you came with. How about that? No. You're kidding me. Oh, what the? What? what the? Ricky, how'd you do that? Oh! Uh oh. We've got what? a. What, where are these guys escaping from? I think here. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Rip. All right, we need to go get a better box. All right, plan B dog crate. One, two, three, four, five. No, no, no. No. All right, we got five. How many is down in here? Oh, five. We were at, we had ten. We we're pretty good. Eight, nine. We got ten. Boom! All right. Oh, that's gross. Everywhere. We're good. We got ten quail. We gotta get a trailer hooked up, and uh, we're headed to the auction. You guys stay too. Well, ladies and gentlemen, first stop on the good old-fashioned road trip across Nebraska to acquire farm animals. We're going to Wendy's for breakfast, all right? Uh, I really didn't want this, and it doesn't really sound good, but then Ty's like, Wendy's has breakfast, so let's let's give it a try. So we're going to give you guys a little good old-fashioned Wendy's breakfast. Oh, what that's are they, a freaking what do they even What do they even have? All right, um, can I get a, uh, I'll do a classic bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Ooh, they have frosty chinos, bro. I don't know what that is, but it sounds fire. Actually, yeah, let's do the meal on that, the combo. The meal? Small, medium, or less. I'll do small, but then can I get a uh, small frosty chino uh, in chocolate? Actually, take that back. I'll do vanilla. All right, and then can I get a sausage, egg, and Swiss croissant? You want the meal? Sure. Wait, I'll do a combo with that as well. And for the drink? Uh, I'll do a chocolate frosty chino. That'll do it. So a little recap here. Um, that transaction was half in Spanish, half in English. Not sure why, but I did watch a decent amount of Dora growing up. So like we, we pieced it together, we're good. I ordered a 
sandwich with cheese, egg, and bacon. And you ordered a croissant with cheese sausage, Swiss cheese sausage and egg. Okay. And then you got the chocolate frosty chino, which I have no freaking I think, clue what I that think is. it's a cappuccino, but with like their frosty mixed in. Dude, well, that could be fire. That sounds really What if this good. is like the next thing? It's We're the like, best thing ever. This frosty chino, I feel like it's either a hero or a zero type thing. Like, you're, it's either gonna be the greatest thing you've ever put in your mouth or the absolute worst. But we're gonna see, like I said, we'll give you guys the old fashioned mukbang here before we head off to the auction. We're still, well, we're late. I told him I'd be there at 9.30, it's 9.22 and we're probably 45 minutes away, so. We're probably gonna be late to every stop along the way, but might just have to go a little bit faster than, than normal. But I think it'll be good. I'm excited for this Wendy's food and uh I'll let you guys know how it is the old yankee candle that's this guy right here fresh fresh Ooh, car fresh. smelled like so i had to put this thing in it smells better now croissant. huh here's your croissant mm -hmm. which one is this vanilla, Va vanilla and a chocolate thanks the real question is when i i asked for small and asked you for a medium and i got this and you got that this is the biggest frosty chino they freaking make. Can I ask for a small one? All right, we're going with the frosty chino to start, folks. This is this is a big moment. I mean, this is God. I'm gonna be hyped up on all sorts of stuff after this. This is really good. It's like um, I don't know how to explain it. Mine just oh, oh God! Like oh God! Watch that. Oh God! <laughs> Rip! Hang on. Let me get let me get straightened out here, folks. All right, so frosty chino. It tastes like I'm just drinking straight up coffee creamer. Like it doesn't, it's not bad, but it doesn't taste like coffee at all. Mine tastes like a chocolate milkshake. Yeah, mine, know. yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not life changing. So then on to the next thing, what else we got in here? We got little potatoes. Bro, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like curly fries. Did you get that vibe? Did you try one? If you blindfolded me, I'd say these are curly fries. Yeah. I get like the Arby's curly fry effect. All right. What is this little thing? This thing is the size of a hockey puck. This thing's tiny. What? This is a Look how cute this thing is. This is like a kid. Oh, that probably should go. Sorry, guys. We're in the middle of a mukbang. Don't mukbang and drive, folks. All right, so I've got the world's smallest sandwich. We're going to have to make a second stop for breakfast here at some point because this is not enough, but... It tastes like a breakfast sandwich. It, tastes, it honestly tastes kind of like a homemade breakfast sandwich. Like, like you know, McDonald's kind of has that like artificial taste. This tastes like something my Meemaw would make. It's pretty fire. So you'll... Oh, this thing is tiny. Oh, mine's square. Is yours square? Nope. Fire, not fire. There's some sauce thing in here. Oh, wow. And I'm not sure what I think of it. it. It's oozing. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a white sauce. So they've got a, they've got a breakfast sauce in there, a mystery sauce. There's, there's a mystery in here, all right. They didn't tell me about that. Maybe, oh, you know what it is? It's probably that Swiss cheese. What's it taste like? It just tastes like a breakfast sandwich. It's not It's not amazing, but it's not bad. Well, folks, there's your Wendy's breakfast uh, mukbang of the day. I would say the food, it's average. It's not bad. Honestly, it's better than I thought. Um, like my breakfast sandwich, like I said, it, it tastes fairly homemade. It doesn't taste like it's necessarily from a fast food joint. I could see it coming from like a gas station if they made it, but it's it's not like, it doesn't taste frozen. Let's put it that way. Not homemade, but it doesn't taste like they took it out of the freezer. It tastes like they actually, they made it. So honestly, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Anyways, there's a, uh, again, that's a little Wendy's breakfast sandwich segment of the day. See you guys at the auction. Shoo! Well, folks, we made it to the auction. We are, uh, these are the hay feeders. I hope, do you think they're gonna fit? Six, five is what they are. But there's no way this is, how's our quail doing? Hey, easy, easy, Rick, easy. There's no way this isn't at least five feet. What well, do you I think? I think it'll fit. There, that's gotta be at least five feet, I think. I think it'll fit. There's no way that won't fit. How do you, oh, you get it five foot by going that way. This is five foot, that's six foot. So worst case, you flip it up like that. How heavy is it? Oh God, that's not light. Better get the old skid loader out here. There's no way in hell we're picking that thing up. Trying to multitask here. Get two door shot. All right. You got one. Here you go. Here you go. Boom. Done. Ten quail gone. Hennifer, look at these guys. They're New Hampshire's, is what Hennifer is. There's three of them. I doubt they're as cool as Hennifer, though. There's no way. That was impressive. 
I would have messed that up. Think she's gonna blow away? We're good. Ocean approved. Well, folks, we're back on the road here. We've got a uh, an hour and four minute drive out east uh, to go pick up 80. 80, 80 freaking bobweight quail um, that we're gonna raise to hunt, release, and you know maybe train, maybe train the puppers or, or, or something like that. I'm not really sure, honestly, why I'm getting these things. They just sounded neat. But we're headed out. We got about an hour, like I said, to the east. We're gonna pick them up, and then we're gonna head about an hour to the actual east back to get the pigs and the quail. Cause we got head another hour east back home. So with that being said, you guys stay tuned. Shoo! Well, folks. We made it to, well, we're actually, we're at Tractor Supply here. This is where we're meeting the individuals for the eggs and the pigs, but we got the quail. Check out these guys. This is just one box. He gave us 100. We were originally gonna get 80, he gave us 100. Look at this. Look at those guys, bro. Look how small they are. They're so freaking tiny. They're just little pipsqueaks. So that's that's like 50 right there. So we got 100 bob white quails. They're chilling in here, but like I so said, we're at Tractor Supply, so we're going to, uh, we're gonna run inside. We gotta get some hog feed. We gotta probably honestly get some piglet feed, huh? Because they're pretty young, aren't they? Probably. The ones where the pig, yeah, they're like Thanks, yeah. 10 weeks or something like that. So we're gonna run inside and get some stuff. You guys stay tuned. Wow, there you have it folks. We spent 360 bucks or something, that was sick. But we got catfish feed, all stock feed, and the new pig feed. And we got stuff for a new electric fence, um, in which we probably won't install today. Probably gonna rain, honestly, by the time we get back, it'll probably rain. Hopefully this doesn't get wet, the uh, feed and stuff. It might, might not, I don't really know if this stuff's waterproof. We'll find out. But uh, next up is gonna be a little bit of quail egg action, and then hopefully some pigs. You guys stay tuned. Well, folks, it's been like 10 minutes, uh, but we got done with the two transactions we after. One being these guys, we have four, eight, 12. We have 36 fertile quail eggs right here. 36 fertile quail eggs. Hey, little quail, how you guys doing? And so these are the, the Caternix, not jumbo, just normal quail, basically. Um, we're going to try to incubate them today. We'll see how that goes. But these guys are absolutely freaking. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. I'm not sure. These are the cutest little things. These might be my new favorite animals on the farm, and then we haven't even gotten them back. Meet the new, and I found out it's Cooney Cooney. Meet the new two baby Cooney Cooney pigs. What are you guys doing? Look how cute they are. Hey, bud. What are you guys? You... Oh, what are you doing? I wish they were standing up. We'll, we'll give you guys a better look. But one of them looks like a freaking cheetah, and the other one looks like that. But they're they're absolutely adorable. I don't know how much you guys can see in there. One's getting up. What's he doing? Is it a boy? Which one's the boy and which one's uh, the girl? The cheetah one's the boy. Cheetah one's a boy. <laughs> There you go, now you guys can see him. Look, he's got a little dangle stick, see that thing? These guys are cute as hell. How's it going, buddy? You all right? You're all right, we're gonna go home. Look how cute they are. They already peed and pooped. You guys are nuts. But these guys are nine week old Cooney Cooneys. And uh, honestly, we will probably, I'm trying to think, we, we're not really sure, to be honest, where we are gonna keep them. I think, I mean, they can stay in the, the goat pen. So the two baby goats that we have, Kevin and Diego, we are selling them, I know, but we're selling them uh, actually today. And so on, I think they would do great in that little pen. You think so? Yeah. I say we, tr we we're gonna trade out Kevin and Diego for the two pigs because they said they don't really like try to like bust out or anything and they just oh. care about food and water. So we might keep them inside the shop for basically today because there's a big storm rolling in. Maybe if it doesn't rain, we might do it today, but we need to go set up the electric fence pasture for the other pigs, move the other pigs because they said to not put our two current pigs with these guys because they're too small and they're different breeds and they might fight and they might kill each other. We don't want that. So with that being said, we're gonna head home and uh, well, like I said, we're selling Kevin and Diego. Uh, it's kind of a surprise for you guys, but it, it's just one of those things like I like them. They're cute. We've kept them for a couple weeks now but just like, it's just it's just too much. We gotta start downsizing just a little bit. So I know it's sad, we're gonna sell Kevin and Diego, but we found a subscriber that really, really wanted them. And I like them, but sometimes, you know, feeding them three times a day just became a little bit much. And uh, and I'd like to give them off to a subscriber who's gonna give them a better home than what we gave them. And they can go kind of run around and do, you know, Kevin and Diego things. So with that being said, we're gonna head home, get these guys, you know, just chilling. They're so cute. We'll let them run around for a little bit. The best thing about the Cooney Coonies is they eat grass. They eat hay. Like you don't have to give them feed all the time. Like they can just, they'll run around just like freaking Dale. So that way, the next time I need my front yard mode, it's gonna be Dale featuring these guys. And we need these guys to be named, by the way, too. So go ahead and name them. You guys get a good look at them now. They're both cute. One male, one female. The fe the male is the cheetah. Cheetah male, female is that guy. She said that the male is way nicer than the female. Female's kind of pouty. But anyways, we're gonna head home. See you guys there.
We didn't, we didn't break it. I was kind of surprised. I thought for sure we didn't break it. Larry, we got you a new feeder. Calm down. All right, well, the uh, the people that are gonna buy the two new baby goats are gonna be here any minute. Um, So we're gonna go up there, get that situated. You guys can say your goodbye. Uh, you guys can say your goodbyes to Kevin and Diego. And then uh, well, first thing we're gonna do is work on this. And we, I mean, we got a lot of things. We gotta incubate eggs. We gotta get a new home for the new quail. We gotta get a new home for the new pigs. There's a lot to do today. Hopefully it doesn't rain. You guys stay tuned. What up, Kevin? What up, Diego? What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing? I don't have a bottle for you. No, I know. Look at them. They made literally, I changed this two days ago and it's just trash. It's okay. You're going to a new home. It's going to be a nice home. See, we've we've, we've tried to give them a little bit of gray and they don't really, they don't really like it, but they, they love the old baba. Yeah, Hi, Diego. I can tell. Hi, buddy. What are you doing, Kev? What are you doing, Diego? You guys ready to go home to a different home, I guess? I know. They, like, the thing is, we, we let them out every once in a while um, on grass and stuff. Problem is, all of our dogs chase them. So for the most part, they spend a lot of their life in here which to me is not the best life for a goat a goat should be out there doing goat things and we can't have them out there doing goat things because we don't have basically another pen for them we want to make sure they're warm and stuff like that so this pe the people that are coming now really want to take care of these they know they're bottle babies they're gonna take care of them and so this is goodbye diego and kevin you guys do diego and kevin thing we'll miss you guys and uh well that's pretty much that anyways bonzo made it how's it going rick yes, sir. you ready for the pigs and the yeah. quail and the quail eggs and was there anything else gosh i feel like we just bought like nine things me and Pooja have been traveling across the state of nebraska today that was sick millie what do you think she's she wants to see the pigs so bad if you guys wonder where lucy is lucy's in her kennel because lucy will not stop harassing the baby goats and so we have her locked up for right now until these baby goats are gone and then we can swap them out and that's also kind of part of it too is lucy just she just wants to harass the baby goats and she can't do that and either way long story short the baby goats are going to get sold and then as soon as they come and we do that whole transaction we're going to get started on putting the big bale in the feeder getting a new pen for the pig set up getting a new pen for the quail and putting the quail eggs in an incubator. You guys stay tuned. Yeah, that's good water, Millie. Anyways, hey guys, we are on to the hatching quail segment. Mm -hmm. So this is an incubator. Now, I know nothing about this, but what I read the instructions that told me to fill up this trough with water. Millie, Millie, you're not helping. Go ahead and just give her a pour. I don't really know how much to be, oh, oh, I think it's full. I can't see. I can't Can we see. pull this thing off? Who designed this? Okay, all right, we're, you know what? Listen, we're not professionals, obviously. So then I'm gonna take this guy, place this here. This oh, is the, this oh yeah, that probably should go yeah. there first. Yeah, go ahead. That's where the chicks run around on when they <laughs> hatch. Then you put that thing in there. Then you guys are expert hatchers let me know because i'm not i think you're supposed to heat up before you put them in there probably should do that approximately one hour for it to fully warm all okay. right so we'll be back temperature should be close to 100 fahrenheit you're at 81.1 then click it so you got to add so 99.5 minus 81.1 eight get 18.4 on that screen it only lets me go to five Rip. All right. Um, well, let's just see if maybe it's maybe it's increments of five. It has to go up five, and then do another five, and do another five. That's so dumb. Yep, I agree. I think I should buy a new incubator. This thing sucks. All right, so we're gonna go work on some other things. First things first. We need to uh, we need to put a bale in with the big animals. But then we gotta build a house for the new quail. Then we gotta build a new house for the pigs. And uh, storms rolling in, so so it should be good. So what we did was we put this guy, this four inch fence panel to prevent little guys like Boots, Boots, I'm talking about you Boots, Llama Rhodes, I'm not talking about you, you're a big chungus, all right? And Steve, you, do, you keep doing Steve things, trotting around and stuff. Steve, you're doing, you look good. We put that in there to prevent them from crawling up and in there. Um, so it's just, Carol, this is for you. You've been eating all the freaking hay. We're about to give you unlimited hay, Carol. The next step is gonna be trying to get a big round bale in here with, uh, with pallet forks. Never done that before, so this should get interesting. You guys stay tuned. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's good. Oh, you got another snake. Really? Oh, Rick. What are you doing, Rick? Come here. Yeah. Crikey, mate. We got another one. Oh, you see this grub? Yeah, I know. I was going to grab that guy. He's nicer than hell. Look at this guy. You get the grub? Catch and cook? <laughs> what are you, freaking bear grubs? <laughs> yeah. Hey, turkeys. You want a snake? Oh, God. Get it. Get it, get it, get it. You better hurry up, he's gonna get out. He's gonna get out. He got out. Get it, heck it. Oh, well now you, you missed it. I guess they don't like snakes. Hennifer would definitely eat that grub. Oh, oh, yep. it worked. Oh, oh, she ate it. See you later, Rick. She's packing out. All right, now let's see if we can pick this thing up. Perfect. Good so far. That was 
quite the process. <laughs> We're not a very efficient folks. I need a freaking bale spear. I just can't find the one I want. Rick! Okay, oh, when did Karen get out? I thought we put her back in there. Karen, Karen's a magician. Oops. Let's see if they, do you think they're gonna, they may not like it. I swear, if our bougie animals don't eat this, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose it. Llama, I'm about to freaking lose it, Llama Rhodes. You know what I'm saying? You gotta eat that hay. We're not giving you any more square bales. The sheep went up to it and bit it and didn't do anything about it. Llama, you just gotta, you just, you gotta go on the side, Llama. Llama, you gotta go on the side. The sides are open, buddy. There you go. What's she doing? Dude, we've got some picky freaking farm animals. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing, Larry. This is ridiculous. Larry, it's the same thing, Larry. Steve, get in there, Steve. I think once they start tearing it apart, it might be better. Look at Carol. She has some butters on her. She's killing it. Dale, don't make me do it, Dale. <gasps> Come on, Dale. Like Let's now. go, Dale. Look at the sheep. Come on, Dale. Look at the sheep. Oh, sheep. Get it, sheep. All right. Dale, don't worry, Dale. Get back inside, Dale. No, Dale. All right, inside. do that to Rick now. Come here, Rick. Rick, you're not the biggest beefcake in town anymore, buddy. Hey, 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 listen, listen, listen. I just want to talk. Hey, I just want to talk. I just want to talk, Rick. Rick, I just want to talk. Oh, he, he's so heavy, bro. I can't. I'm too weak. Come on, Rick. Come on, Rick. Let's go home, Rick. See, the, the key is you got to act like you're fighting him. Then he pushes back, but you're just going the right direction. No, Dale. <sighs> <sighs> Why are animals like this? Why can't you just calm down? We just got you fresh hay, buddy. Woo! Hi. I don't think the animals like it that much. Maybe it just takes them some time to get used to it. Either way, hay is in there. Mission number 27 of the day accomplished. Now we need to uh, set up the old fence for these, these pigs. How you guys doing? Look at this, we got our fence. Look at this, this is the most beautiful. Millie, calm down. Millie, calm down, Millie. This is the most beautiful pet. Dude, we are about to get hit by a tornado, by the way. This might turn into, this might turn interesting, folks. Because we've never experienced a super strong storm at my house, super strong storm at my house ever before. So things could be interesting, but there's literally a tornado. How far, that would be, I mean, it's, fi yeah, it's 15, 10, 15 minutes. So 10, 15 miles, there's a tornado touchdown. But it, it, it seems like, I guess, isn't it supposed to be calm before tornadoes? It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty. <laughs> It's pretty calm right now. Anyways, look at this little pasture. So that's their hut. That's gonna be the shelter for them um, where they can kind of hang out, get out of the elements and stuff like that. It's it's open on two sides, but closed on the other so they can kind of chill in there. Nice roof cover. They got all this grass to eat and we'll have to give them some food and water, obviously. That's essential, but we've got them. It's an electric fence and they love. So the thing about these pigs is they love eating grass, weeds, pasture. And I hadn't cut any of this. So I was like, let's put them here. That way they're also close to these pigs here. Um, that way when we feed the pigs, it's just kind of boom, boom right next to each other. So either way, we're gonna put them in their new home and see what they think. You guys stay tuned. <laughs> You all right? You all right? Really, you're not helping, buddy. You got a screamer over there? Don't let her go. Really? There you go. Oh my goodness. She's a screamer. That's not the heat. No, that's a sheep. No. No. no, that's a heat. That's that's a heat. A he's a screamer. Kinky boy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this fence on and see what they think. Millie, you're going to get shocked. They're about to get shocked, too. It's on now. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, there, got it. Yeah, scared me. <laughs> it's not funny. It just scared me. Look at them. They're eating grass. Isn't that wild? To see? I've never seen a pig eat grass. Yeah. Like that just isn't a normal thing. We'll give them a little bit of grain just to get them started. Just because if you get them used to eating grain, they it's like a treat. It's kind of like having the grain for the big ant. Millie, Millie, you're gonna touch it. I know you are. Sit. I know you are. Millie, sit. You're not gonna be happy about it. We're giving them a little grain just to get them, just to let them know that we're their friends. There you go. Bro, they're so cute and just tiny little things. You see the little grain? They, oh, they found it. They know what it's Nom, like. nom, nom. Look at them. They're munching. They're living their best life. They're so tiny. Do you think, I think we should put them in their little hut so they yeah, kind of, so they know. know. Let's go do that. Let's do that real quick. You're fine with your hut. Just, get, just go in the hut. Go in the hut. No, no. Grab him. Get pick him up, Mama. I got him. Get in there. There you go. There you go. Your house. Hey, no. 
stay in there for a second. Just relax. Look, see? Look at this. It's a perfect little pig hut. Just for you guys. Do you pig things or something. I love how they just constantly a little. Yeah. They're just kind of like, you know? That's what they do. Are they, are they French? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this nice wall cloud coming. Meteorologist flares back at it. That's the old tick. You know what I did in my, the last vlog? I burned it with a blowtorch. Well, let's do it again. Work. This is what I do. I like them crispy. Kills them instantly. Oh, toast my wiener. Don't mind if I do. Where'd you get that wiener? It's just in the back of the meal. Oh, the pigs will eat it. You want to take a bite? Here you go, pig. That's kind of messed up. That's yeah. kind of messed up. They, no, it's no, turkey. turkey, bro. It's turkey. Oh, okay, we're good. Don't give it to the turkeys. Oh, <laughs> hit him. Kobe. Rip. Oh, I made it inside. A little far. They're both munching in there. All right. How many animals have we uh, gone down the list? A lot. We need to do the uh, quails. The live quails, not the hatching quails. Live quail up next. Stay tuned. Good south sunlight for the birds. Oh, yeah. Sunlight's good for birds. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. Why is everybody being awkward right now? Why are you saying that? Why are you being weird? Anyway, I'm putting this heat lamp on because they're just little guys. So. Drop this in there. Yeah, you go ahead. You fill her up. You got it. Yeah, you're on fluffy. That's good. That's good. No, they're just little guys. This big plus is probably not the best idea. I think you're supposed to use like fine shavings. Listen, I don't follow the rules. So. Look at this little guy. Oh my god. That's what they sound like. It's Bob White. Is that go, white? Bob White? Yep. Oh, I do. Yeah. Bob, Bob White. white. Yep. Bob White? Okay, That's what can, it is, but. Stop now. All right, you ready? Here you go, you little pecker heads. Whee! Come on, kids. Get going. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like the school of fish on Nemo when yeah, all the yeah. kids are swimming around and stuff. Why it reminds me of that, I don't know. Just gotta give them a little shaking every once in a while. Come on, kiddos. And they're out. Got next box. Look how many birds there are. Millie, what are we gonna do with all these? We're gonna hunt these, Millie. These are gonna be hunting birds or something. Come on, kiddos. A little shaky, shaky, shaky. Come on, kiddos. Come on. Look at them all. Look at them. They're all cuddling. There they go. Look at that. You ever seen a hundred freaking quail? Look how small they are. Are you going to name all of them? Yes. Starting with uh, Bob, Bob here, and White. Here's Rick. I'm going to go ahead and put it here. So that way this receives none. So if they start feeling overheated, then they can get away with it. And Bonzo thought this was a joke, but it's not because the south sun pretty much all day long is going to shine in here. Heat and sun rays. Everybody loves sun rays. Like sun rays always do big things for birds and life, just animals in general. And if we want to give them a little, what's wrong? I'm a biologist. And if you want to give them a little. Oh, there's two of them. You want to give them a little fresh air. That Open south, that, that up. South wind. The, the south wind on oh, okay. south wind day. You're a big south guy. Listen, I'm all about the eco economy of these things. Listen, we need to get food and water, don't we? Lucy, you want a quail egg? Lucy, you want a quail egg? What, or what are you eating? Millie, you want a quail egg? Nothing good stuff. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, well, we got all the new quail situated, but then we went and we went down and collected. Look at these guys. That's a new color quail egg. These came from our farm. So we ran down to grab food for our new quail from the quail enclosure and uh, collected these guys, which are at less than three days old, which is supposed to be the most fertile, 80% hatch rate. So Bonzo, let's do the math. If 80% of these hatch, how many will hatch? I'm gonna go with five. Is that actually? No, I don't even know how many. I didn't so there's count. seven. There's seven. It'd be like four, four, four and a half, five. What's what? Eighty percent. So point five. It'd be four. Four. Yeah. Four exactly. Four. Eighty percent of seven is four. Right? Seven. Ten. No, it's definitely. No, not. I was gonna say it cannot be an even number. It's it's gonna be like point something. <laughs> I'll see if you would agree with this. Five point six. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm pretty sure I said that. I was Did like you? five and a half. So five. So we're gonna get half a quail. No. Okay. So, I'd go so either one. so five is what you're hoping. Five out of five out of seven isn't bad. All right, here we go. So By it's really way. it's really warm in here, so we're gonna try to move quickly. So I'm gonna put all of ours on the first. Do guy. you put them point side down or I does it matter? I was gonna ask you. Hey, there's seven of them. Like set, like you know what I mean? Oh god, these things are about to tilt. Okay, so then take these guys. Should I call it here? You wanna keep doing this? Let me call yeah. Buddy just yeah. so we don't mess this up. I'm gonna call my friend here. See what he says. Yeah, what's up? Do you put them in point first or does it matter? What was that? Do you put the eggs in the incubator point first or point up or does it matter? Um, yeah, point, point first, that's how we have it. Like, point down. point down. Got it. Okay, all right, we'll do that. We're loading it up now. We got we got her figured out. I would have killed all mine. So, you put all yours the I, put them all, I put them all the wrong way. You don't want to make an omelet with all these? Sounds fire. We're gonna fill up the whole incubator, aren't we? I was gonna say, what do you do if you have extras? Omelet. 
Why? <laughs> it was not necessary. You got one. Efficiency. Let me close. I think we're gonna have some extras right now. That's a point in some of the gun right there. Five point six actually. Like an egghead. You're gonna have five point six extras. Bonzo, you get one for an omelet. Oh heck yes. Alright, so I guess I need to flatten them all out. Okay, go ahead and cover back up. There it goes. Okay. It's 86. So I'll have to wait for you. We got one extra, so I'll catch and cook. But there you have it, folks. We've got the eggs in the that holds probably what third no, he gave us 36 and we added ses, we added six, so 42 or something. We got like 40 plus ish eggs inside the old incubator. And so we need to set a, well, a date, Bonzo. 15 days? 15 days from today. We gotta take them off the roller and let them hatch um on onto the little I don't know what you even call it. Good news is we didn't get hit by a tornado. Look at it. Looks like it almost I can't tell did it go around us? Ah! I mean, still looks a little terrible to the northeast, but it's not too bad. So we got a lot done today, folks. It was just one of those days where we kept the camera rolling, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. We got pigs, we got quail, we got quail eggs, we got rid of goats, we got rid of other quail, <sighs> a lot, and we got a hay bale feeder and gave them the. I mean, a lot, a lot went on. This is this is a productive day, folks. I like it. This is a good day out on the farm. Good productive day. I brought you guys along. But name our two little pigs, little Cheeto Bandito looking sucker, and then the, the dark one. Give those guys some names. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace. Wee oui, wee, oui, ho ho. Kinky boy.